Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. You know we've been hitting the technical stuff on OpenTX pretty hard, so tonight I thought we'd just have a little fun and play around and customize the radio a little bit. Hey, if you like this kind of content, there's lots of ways you can support the channel. One of them is by joining me on Patreon. There's a link in the description and on the screen for you. Another way is by leaving a comment and a thumbs up and sharing the video, that always helps. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I've spent the last couple months talking about this in the videos and we've driven the non-subscriber view ratio down from 70% all the way to 60, which is great. So I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to RC Video Reviews and I want to encourage the rest of you to hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. If you have your own image editing software and you're comfortable using it, by all means, continue on. If you don't have image editing software though, check out paint.net. You can download it for free. The link will be in the description and it's here on the screen for you as well. But come on down to this second link that says download.pdn now and that's the free version of the software. If you want to support the authors of the software, you can also get it on the Microsoft Windows 10 store and pay for it. I don't believe paint.net has a Linux or Mac version, so if you're using those operating systems, you'll have to find image editing software that will do the same thing, but that shouldn't be too hard on those systems. So just click on that logo, and over here on the right-hand side, it says paint.net 4.2.13. Click on that, it'll download it. After you download it, open the archive and just run the installer and set it up. Before we go any further with image editing, I believe it was Freddie D who gave me a link to Sky Raccoon and they've got a massive library of transparent RC airplanes that you can download for free. So if you want to save some time, by all means use one of these options. But they don't have everything and they might not have your plane. There's a Leader 480 right there and I have that plane. And they even have some flight test stuff in here. There's a mini DRAC. So they've got a lot of stuff in here. They've got precision aerobatics. They've got a Sonic. That, that's, a, that's a Sonic, but that looks like a spacewalker to me. Anyway, there's a goblin from Hobby King. <laughs> now that's pretty current. So yeah, you can start at skyraccoon.com and download what they have for free. But if you have your own airplane or a custom model or you just want to use your own pictures, then keep watching. I'm going to start with my F-22, and as you can see, I took a picture. The background's not great, but there's a lot of solid colors, which is going to make it really easy for me to remove that background. If you've got a blue screen or a green screen, that'll make it even easier. But I've got a white background, and I can get rid of most of that pretty quick. So we're going to open this image up with paint.net. I'm going to move through this relatively quickly because I'm just trying to give you an idea how it works. So once you have your image open in paint.net, click on this little wand over here and just touch an area of the screen. And you'll see that the background just populated with this blue mask. And what they're showing you is the area that's going to be removed. And you see how this area up here is highlighting my vertical fin? I don't want that removed. And the reason it's doing that is because it blends in. It's a white surface and it blends in really well with the white background. So what you want to do is, is take this bar up top and drag it down until the area that is going to be removed doesn't take out parts of your plane. And you can see here that I've overall I've got a pretty good line all the way around. I might add a little bit more tolerance to this to see if I can get rid of some of this space up here in the gap. That looks pretty good. That actually looks really good. So once you have an area selected that you want to get rid of, you just hit the delete key and bam, that part of the background's gone. Now I'm going to move on to another section. Don't try and get it all at once, because if you try and get it all at once, you'll be frustrated. But if you can get rid of large chunks at a time, that's really good. That'll make your life a little bit easier. It really wants to cut into that vertical fin up here on the top left by moving the tolerance up. I don't want that fin to go away, so I'm going to I got to back the tolerance down until I can get rid of that by myself. And notice up here, it wants to take that tip off as well, and that's no good. So I need to back that down just a little bit. There we go. Now I've got a nice solid line around that fin, so I'm just going to hit delete and take that out. I was holding the airplane with my hand inside these openings right here, and I covered my arm with this foam because I figured that would make an easier surface to get rid of than my arm. So I'm just going to click on that and see what it does. That's not bad. It's got a little bit of the plane it wants to take out right here. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to back it down just a little bit and see. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to click delete 
And now you can start to see that we've really taken out some big chunks of the background that we don't want. I'm going to increase the tolerance on this side a little bit because I know i got a lot of black in there. Yeah, look at that. There we go. That looks good. So I'm just kind of nibbling away at it. There, that one looks really good. Look how nice and clean that came out. I'm going to hit delete on that. Let's try this one now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look how nice. See, you want to do it in pieces. If you do it in pieces, you give the software an opportunity to figure out what doesn't belong and what does belong. See, see how that's all going to get taken out now? There we go. Yeah, this is coming along real nice. Oops, it wants to take more of my plane out, so I'm going to back this down a little bit. We don't want that to happen. There we go. Take that out. Let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, now it's starting to get a little muddled, but that's okay. There's a way around that too. Now look at my table. My table is still left there. My That's my soldering iron cord and a phone stand, but I don't want that in there, so we're going to get rid of that. And if it's going to be stubborn, now we can start moving to the square. See the rectangle over here? I'm going to select a rectangle, and I'm going to just highlight big areas of the image that we don't want. I'm going to hit delete. You see that? Now we're really taking out chunks of this background that we don't want. Oops, I got the airplane covered. Oops, got it covered again. There we go. So just take your time and, and you know work through it carefully and slowly. It doesn't have to be perfect because this image is going to be really small on your screen and it's got a white background. So what will end up happening is because the image is so small, unless you've got eagle eyes, you're not going to see little deformities. It's not really that big of a deal. You don't have to get too wrapped around the axle with it. All right, to get some of these weird shapes, you can grab the lasso tool and you can highlight and move along the edge of the plane and cover things that are nearby. You see how that's working with the lasso? So there we go. I don't want any of that stuff. That's all gone now. It, this, the lasso tool, you just have to tinker with it and you'll figure it out. It lets you make these weird little shapes and get you real close to the plane there. That's looking really good right there. But yeah, just try the lasso tool if you've got some irregular areas that need to be carved out. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with that just the way it is. I'm happy with that. I don't think I need to fool with that any, any longer because when I make that small, you're just not going to see it. Okay, once you're happy with the background removal on your image, the next thing we have to do is resize the image so OpenTX likes it. Click on Image, Resize. And OpenTX is very particular about this, so you got to get it right. It's 192 wide by 108 tall. And you want the resolution to be 72 pixels per inch. Once you've got that, go ahead and click OK. And you can see how small that gets, right? You can zoom back in. There's a zoom dial over here on the bottom right if you want to zoom in. Or you press Control and spin your mouse wheel, and that'll help you zoom in. Okay, the last thing to do is to save your image. So click File, Save As, and OpenTX is particular about this, so make sure you set the type to PNG. You can use any name you want, but it's got to be under 8 characters, or the radio won't show it to you. So I'm just going to do F22, just to avoid any problems. And then I've already got my radio plugged in, so you see I've got DTX16S, so I'm just going to select the Image folder, and I'm going to save my F22 image in the Image folder. And I found that the defaults are just fine on this, so I'm going to click OK under the Save Configuration. And there we go. Now to show you the image on the radio, I'm going to come over to the radio and unplug it from the computer. I'll just press the Model button and go down to Model Image, and I'm going to select F22PNG. And then hit Escape, and there we go. There's my F22 with the transparent background. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and I've got one other thing to show you. Check out my splash screen. How cool is that? 
I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of custom splash screens and put them on rcvideoreviews.com. So head over there and download the custom ones that I make up if you want one. And if you're one of my patrons, I'll make you a customized splash screen with your name on it. Just head over to patreon.com and leave me a comment. Let me know you'd like one customized for you and I'll make one up for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video tonight. If you did, make sure you leave a comment and a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That's all I've got for today, guys. Take it easy.